Hello and welcome to Darius Comic School and today we will take a look at an inker and the inker's name is Dan Green and there is something about uh, Dan Green inking um, Adam Kubert or Mark Silvestri there is something about this um, and I would say if you want to make comics or if you just enjoy comics um, you might learn the best from from the pros themselves by looking at it, by copying it. Um, lately I'm learning a lot of guitar and music and a big advice is always to have fun and also to learn from the artists themselves, to learn songs, to go through all the motions and <clears throat> my I think best viewed videos is when I um, kind of teach my process how to draw um, or show things. And um, there is something I really like about Mark Silvestri and Adam Kubert. And it's always when they're inked by Dan Green. So that name pops up and we... We don't talk that often about um, inkers. We always talk uh, talk about the writers, uh, the Elmores, the Frank Millers. Uh, we don't talk also that much about the colorists. And I have to say, like um, Glynis Oliver, uh, great name. I like uh, Chris Chris Bucciolato, or I don't know, but. Uh, there, there, there is sometimes where I see like uh, also Cl Klaus Janssen um, popping up on John Romita Jr. on uh, John, John Romita Jr. or on um, Frank Miller, and I, I started, I started to understand back in the days when I was figuring out how to make comics um, that the inker has a big influence on the pages. Um, it's not only the way you draw, and Mark Silvestri definitely can draw. I will show you in a bit, like um, beautiful design, beautiful drawings. Later in this comic, I will show you a bit more um, where it seems like this, like beautiful cityscapes, and here, like look this. This is this is this is a piece of art. Um, and while I was going through these pages, I was also thinking about movies, about storytelling and what comics really and truly are. Um, and that it's not just a storytelling device, but also like, as you can see here, um, again, I would say, le let's say, yin and yang. I always say this le le here, uh, the yin and yang. I, I don't know. You don't, you don't have to get it like yin and yang is this like all black with a white dot and all white with a black dot, but you're already getting it. And that the camera or the panel, I don't know, I think that um, the artist probably is not consciously thinking about this, but, or maybe he is, or he should be, um, same here, but, or he, even here, but um, there is something, a sensibility in a comic artist and then, even deeper um, in an inker where you're going in and um, I think that that's, that's the last touch up. I mean, drawing the thing is one thing, but then inking it, um, that's where you really giving it the shape and sure, the, um, the penciler, which in the Marvel comics are always like separated, but it is always uh, this 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 great sensibility to put in the blacks and to create then really the picture because like without the blacks without the deep blacks and even even uh, movie people say this and uh, camera people like uh, cinema people say that if you don't have a deep dark black and a bright white uh, we don't well we have here the bright white then you lack contrast and um, with lacking contrast, you 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 lack contrast, you lack interest, and I mean, 
that's some some really some really big thing as you can see of course the penciler is kind of maybe like the director and i don't know where you would see the inker but yeah let's talk a bit about dan green um i was getting this video idea that i have right now um and i was thinking hey man i should i should talk about the inker dan green and uh, maybe we can find out what makes him so great shout out to richard friend he covers um has a few videos on dan green um adam kubert and mark silvestri i don't know if uh dan green inked other people but there's a certain um and i think I like I like the Dan Green Wolverine um, the most with a combination of um, Adam Kubert because Adam Kubert I have seen him uh, inked by Tim Townsend and I have seen it uh, seen him inked by Art uh, T Bird or what's his name and it doesn't. Uh, it doesn't like like this is the Wolverine I fell in love with, and this is the um, this is the the Dan Green Wolverine because I don't know what it is. It is as like like um, an inker adds so much more. I mean um, the shapes and structure and and the stuff a penciler does is is all right, but. Um, the inker gives it then um yeah how do you say how do you say like i mean this is definitely an adam kubert yes and but 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 then the inker does so much more like um we will study it in a second let me show you i got a few comics here um i got also some let me see fatal attractions and it is it is I, I can't even tell you it's just like um it's just the way and and here i think in fatal attractions um i don't know if it's all dan green i think there are a few more people inking and you can see it's like it's it switches it switches up the, the artist so much but then when you see like a panel like let me let me let me see when 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 wolverine gray grabs jean gray i'm pretty sure that this panel is a dan green and my my gut feeling tells me that he inks somehow a bit old schooly i don't know how i can say that but um maybe it's the tools he uses maybe it's like the way he does things maybe this is like some old school um like i don't know if joe kubert ink inked his stuff but there's just a certain it feels very flowy liquidy it feels very organic the way he does ink it, fe it feels very alive and um, some other stuff he does I don't know if this is uh, also um, there's 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 a certain playfulness and a certain I don't know you can just see it in the brush strokes here um, Wolverine and Jubilee are sitting um, at a pond and it's just a certain confidence as you can see he doesn't like always um, complete the lines there's some heavy heavy blacks but this it's it's just like very very playful I, I maybe maybe this inking style comes with the years um, as you can see this tree this this looks very uh, very then greenish and I can't even tell you what what his style is. I just know he has a style, and every time he applies this style, I really love it. 
And I would say it's not. Um, I know a lot of people are fan fan fans of uh, David Finch. Um, I think for me it's too much, too much cross hatching, too much stuff going on. Um, then there's def definitely like the the Mike Mignola thing, and I think that that's too little. Um, then there's a Frank Miller, sometimes very beautiful, sometimes borderline ugly but um, Dan Green combines that um, he has a certain functionality and everything else just goes black or becomes black um, and there's a certain a certain flow in his pencils he does not need to to close every shape some somewhere here um, I can't even really put it into words but the, it's just like I I just dig his style and probably I need to study it more and it changes a bit with time this is some um, Silvestri work but as you can see like very simple not too much um, really essentialism and you could say okay that's too simple for me or this is too simple for me but in graphic design or cinema or or stuff like uh, clarity and energy is really important um, if you take for example maybe um, eastern martial arts I think it comes to the point it is strong um, and it gets the job done and the same applies here and let me show you like I, I, I really loved this um, Silvestri stuff it's nothing too crazy but um, yeah there's a certain a certain simplicity in these pages I don't know I think they were kind of doing this thing let me show you this panel you know what I mean can you see the clouds up there and the figures in the back um, sure that's Mark Silvestri but the inking style that's also some damn green and um, it has the dirt the details where it needs to have them and the rest is like just let me see where's another beautiful panel like look at this it's just a certain it's the exact exact right mix for me it's um, a certain a certain clarity but enough life and um, yeah how do you see it but can you see it like I mean check this out it's just beautiful just everything it needs the clouds the air um, I would love to see how he does his pages while he passed away maybe I can find an interview but I would love to learn from this guy it just looks great a big fan of his I will also take a look at um, um, at Richard Friend he covers him and This is just like the best Wolverine inker for me right now. Like just just the, the sheer I don't know, he, he gets it right. I don't know if he what he does, but um Adam Kubert looked never this crisp or this good. Like, it's it's definitely a quality of Dan Green to make this like really like look at this. And so, this video is long, and let me wrap this up. But it's just like just browsing through things, and I can't even this time. I'm really. 
um, a student too. I can I can't even say what it is, because it's definitely the pencils from Adam Kubert, but it's definitely also like the inks of um, Dan Green that make all the difference. Because like Tim Townsend looks very very different. Uh, like this looks a bit cartoony, but also very realistic. And um, the people just look very good. Like, look at this one. Like, and also all through the Age of Apocalypse, he draws two, and um, uh, he draws he inks two, and that makes that makes the, the Age of Apocalypse um, Wolverine like really magnificent. Let me let me wrap this up with a beautiful scene where Wolverine jumps in front of a car to save a guy on a bicycle. He heard it's coming to approach, and this guy, his neighbor, um, he kind of hates mutants and Wolverine. There's a story before this one where they don't get along, and then this guy. I mean, look at this. Look look at this. Maybe this is the thumbnail. Who knows? Like this is so dang greenish, this panel. Yeah, I think this cannot be explained. Maybe, maybe this can be felt. And when you start to ink yourself, you can study this, replicate it and get it into your inking vocabulary. But yeah. Rest in peace, Dan Green. Thank you for providing me uh, with so much fun and bringing me, in the Age of Apocalypse, the best Wolverine um, there ever was and to make Adam Kubert really shine. Thank you. And let's wrap this up. Wolverine grabs a beer and walks away. And yeah, farewell, Dan Green. <laughs>